Alright guys, welcome back to the video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the NVIDIA filters. And I'm pretty sure you can only do this if you have an NVIDIA graphics card. And you need to have the GeForce experience installed. So I'm just going to be going over the best filters because my problem with Vanguard is it kind of looks dead. The colors aren't as vibrant. But in Warzone, it's like really dark. So obviously your NVIDIA filters are going to be more focused on that. But this, I'm just going to be focusing on the color to make the game look better. And for me, all I have to do is push Alt-Z. I don't know if that's for everyone, but if I push Alt-Z, this pops up. And once this pops up, you want to go to Game Filter. And this is basically before and after. So this is what it looks like before. And here's what it looks like after. And to me, this is a pretty huge difference. The game just looks a lot better and the colors pop out more compared to this. If I switch back. Like I said, it just kind of looks gray. So I'm just going to be going through my settings on how you get this. So like I said, push Alt Z and then go to game filters. And on one of these slots, just click it and you want to do add filter. Now, once you click add filter, you want to go to color and then it should look like this. You want to drop it down. And all I did was just really mess with it to get to what I like. And I kind of just put everything at zero, but then up this. I wouldn't really mess with these because this messes with like the color of the game, as you can see, like this. Now it just looks ugly. So I just put these at zero and don't mess with that. But for the vibrance, I put it all the way up because it basically just intensifies the color, makes it more vibrant because, you know, it's, it's literally called vibrance. And then that's basically all I did for that. And then to make the edges more sharp and everything look a little bit better, you want to do sharpen. And then if you want, you can just play around with it or you can copy my settings. But these are basically the two I have. And I'm gonna give you the settings for sharpen right now. So for sharpen, I have the intensity at 30. And if you can't get it to the exact numbers, it's fine. Just get it around there. And for the ignore film grain, I have no clue what this does because I've been messing with it and it doesn't seem to make a difference, but I just have it at 25. And yeah, this is basically it. So for sharpen, 30 intensity and then 25 for the ignore film grain. And then color, all I did was up the vibrance to 100. And that's basically it. There are some other cool filters if you want to play with this, like the sketch one. That, that's pretty trippy and if you want your game to be brighter you can add the brightness and contrast one basically just mess around with the settings so you can make it brighter if you don't like how it looks already see like this it's a little bit brighter and it's also with the added colors so you can add that if you want your game to be a bit more bright here are my settings for that but i really like how sharpen and color look and i don't want the game to be any brighter because i think it looks perfectly fine with just the sharpening color so i'm gonna get rid of this but if you want your game to be brighter you can just copy these settings so i'm just gonna have a little comparison like i did in the beginning on and this is with it off so yeah hopefully this did help and if it did i would appreciate it if you left a like because that does help out me yeah, like I said before, I think this only works with the uh, NVIDIA graphics cards. Or I think you can just download the GeForce experience. I do not know for sure yet. I just put the settings to make the game look better in colors because it's, it's kind of gray. Anyways, hope this helped. And uh, yeah, that's basically all I have for you guys. Oh, yeah, make sure to sub because I do upload Vanguard s &D almost every day. I'm trying to upload every day. And uh, go check me out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash lasermoon with two N's, because I am going for the uh, fruit roll-up camo. I, I actually don't even know what it's called. Oh, Atomic. I'm going for the uh, Atomic camo on, uh, on stream, so make sure to stop by. And uh, yeah, that's basically it.